All right, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Tecate mod, or maybe it's Tecate. I honestly have no idea how to pronounce this, but either way, it is being made by user Xenon Max, and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a lovely new small planet, as well as two even tinier moons, which means it's not going to be a long episode today, but oh well, who doesn't love a new planet? planet pack so let's uh, jump into the tracking station and have a look at what we do get now let's uh, zoom out here and we'll find our lovely new world in between the orbital path of our lovely Kerbin and Duna where we have here the Tecate. I'm going to go with that one. It sounds more interesting that way. The Tecate planet. And I love the flavor text on this one. That basically it's the smallest of the dwarf planets in the systems. Or perhaps the king of the asteroids. I do. I do like that. So yes, a tiny, tiny little world with two even smaller moons. And as for the stats on this one, it is 60 kilometers in its equatorial radius with no atmosphere to speak of. <laughs> Oh, yeah, being so small, point zero six Gs. So, uh, yeah, going to be quite an interesting one to land on, tiny, and not a lot of gravity. But kind of good looking. I do I do enjoy it. It's a little bit plain, but has a few nice little pops of color and interesting features around, and does have quite a bit of topography. It looks pretty smooth from here, but as you get closer to the planet, you start seeing a lot more craggy peaks, etc. So a nice little world. And the first of its moons is Tequili, which is Seven kilometers in size with, oh boy, 0 0.0025 Gs. Once more, and no atmosphere to speak of. And it kind of reminds me of a peach. Yeah. Kind of like, kind of like a peach. Nice little planet. Well, moon, actually. Very, very tiny moon. And the next and last of the moons is a Tekova, which is only four kilometers in size, with surprisingly the same gravity as the last, so a lot more dense for its size there. And uh, once more, no atmosphere, much more colorful than the others. And considering it's only four kilometers in size, those are some interesting features along the thing. Very, very nice. I do really like this one. This one also reminds me of something, but for the life of me, I can't think of what it is. But it's it's been bugging me ever since I downloaded it. What does this look like? But either way, a fun little moon around a new, a fun, tiny little planet. So let's go take a look at it a bit closer, where I have a satellite in orbit. And uh, there we go. We have uh, one of its moons there, Tequili, in the background. And the fun dark spot there of Tecate in view. All in all, a small world. And not a whole lot to go and see, considering the size of everything. But... A, I think a nice little addition to the uh, whole star system here that we have in Kerbal Space Program. And nice to have another planet in between Kerbin and Duna as maybe a fun little uh, midway adventure point between your future expeditions out to Duna. Which I think makes it a little bit better. But uh, that really is all to go over with this mod. It's a small one but a nice one. So if you'd like to have a look at it for yourself, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for this episode, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.